Okay, I get the feeling there aren't too many uh, functioning CompuPro 816 uh, S100 systems uh, left in the world, so I thought I'd give a demo of what I have here. It's a, uh, I have a 8 inch uh, NEC 1165 uh, floppy quantum Q540 uh, 40 meg hard drive and a uh, M4853 uh, Mitsubishi five and a quarter. Um, the cards in this system are the uh, disc three connected to the uh, quantum hard drive. Uh, system support one board, uh, an interfacer 4, which is uh, the I.O. connected to the uh, Telvideo uh, personal terminal I have. Um, then we have the uh, disc 1A. Uh, floppy uh, drive card with the ribbon for the five and a quarter and the ribbon for the eight inch. Um, I have a 286 uh, CPU board in here. Uh, my latest purchase just a little while ago is an SPUZ. It's a Z80 slave processor board uh, running at 8 megahertz uh, serves as a co-processor pro co-processor I've got a RAM 22 256k memory card and then I have two of the uh, M drive uh, cards for a total of uh, 512k cards for a total of uh, one megabyte as a uh, RAM disk. So now I'll power on the uh, display and the floppy and hard drives. And then um, we'll power on the uh, system here and I'll watch it boot up. Concurrent DOS uh, 3.1. I've got 8 inch. Uh, drive as drive I, a five and a quarter as drive K, um, my disk three quantum hard drive is uh, divided into uh, five partitions A through E. Um, if I give the M form And I'll create a, a uh, M drive, memory drive, and do a stat. Shows I do indeed have a Meg uh, RAM drive set up now. I go into WordStar here's my uh, tribute to uh, Bill Godbout the designer of uh, the CompuPro system who 
passed away in the uh, wildfire last year, I think it was. And um, then I'll show uh, how to activate uh, the um, Slave Z80 processor. Uh, first, you issue an SPZ command to um, uh, detach this from the uh, uh, concurrent DOS console. Um, now it's ready to run 8-bit mode. Now if I do a command to switch to the SPUZ card and execute an 8-bit program such as DDT it executes and here I'm running uh, DDT in uh, uh, Z80 mode 